so when we last left our heroes, things were about to get sapphic. <coughs> Either that, or the main character was about to die. I mean, it could be either, but also don't forget intro. intro. I know. It's called <laughs> cold opening. <laughs> yeah, but you've done it before, so I mean, you've done it twice in the same day. <laughs> I resemble that remark. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. So, this is Evil Guacamole Gaming. I am the Devil's Avocado, and I am joined by... Lightfoot And Pixococo. Indeed. So... Indeed. Last time. On... DBC. Uh, <laughs> like, my brain just is like, I see a word in front of me. It vaguely resembles dragon. Travel Ball Z. <coughs> That's a thing no. to say. You're saying it what? now. No. Okay. No. Hmm. Bad. Oh, well, this is nice. Yeah. Huh. Daffodil scoffed dismissively, turning her snub nose in the air. This is the second time she did it. I found it kind of cute. The Traveler and the Nun were sitting together on a pew. Pew pew pew. pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> the Traveler still had their cloak about their shoulders. The hood obscuring their face in shadow. As well as their ears. Daffodil, meanwhile, had her arms folded and was tapping her fingers against the inside of her arm. Like Something the elbow area, me. probably. Something tells hmm? me no one's gonna be getting any sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not because of the sex. Oh, I was gonna go with a wink wonk, but I guess not. No. <laughs> Denied. No. I don't think that's gonna work here. Yeah, no, probably not. Restless. Don't try to make small talk with me. Would big talk help? <laughs> well, you look bored. Go back. I was to just trying to lighten the atmosphere. She's haddock with you. <laughs> if you want to lighten the atmosphere, you can start by telling me what you're doing here. Maybe then I'll trust you. I mean, you can kind of see I'm I'm sitting on a pew. Pew pew pew. pew. <laughs> I'll pew pew in your face. The traveler shifted a little. <laughs> I mean, if you wish to pew pew me, why am I doing that in the narrator voice? Ha ha ha! Why? The narrator is a creepy dude. He, he's yep. nagging. <laughs> uh, they frowned inside the folds of their hood because they did indeed have a mouth. But it was an empty gesture. Like because they still had their hood soul. up. <laughs> it wasn't like Daffodil could see yeah. anything. Good job. It is as Marilyn said. If there are no valuables inside this church, why would I bother coming to steal them? There's more to life than bronze or silver. Um, what then? I mean, that's literally all my life. I'll let you work that out on your own, Mr. Tall, Dark, and Not-So-Handsome. Are we gendering? Or is this just a turn of phrase? I don't also, know. how can you... Like, they can't... They legit cannot tell any of this other than maybe implied by voice if Mr. <laughs> I mean, that huh? is a good good question, so... 
You don't think I would take advantage of you, do you? I don't think you would take advantage of me, no. Because I'm not- I'm too smart to be tricked. And I'm not pretty either. But I would argue that. Also, you do have bigger boobs than the two. Yep. We discussed this earlier. Yep. The vulgar fiend. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I'm sure you've you've compared. Yeah, most girls do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Daffodil sighed wistfully, and the traveler was struck by a peculiar feeling. Perhaps oh, it was. Secondary sapphic feelings. <laughs> Secondary sapphic? <laughs> Was it just their imagination, or did Daffodil sound rueful? The traveler doubted Daffodil were rueful because she wasn't. Uh, because. Oh, okay. I'm seeing where the sentence is going. The Traveler mm -hmm. doubted Daffodil were rueful because she weren't pretty enough to be harangued. <laughs> what? What kind of <laughs> word is that? Ah, uh, it means to be harassed. Oh, okay. Is, I'm learning today on friggin' Sesame I, Street. <laughs> uh, the, this ain't no Sesame Street. This ain't the street you were raised on. Um, ah! But maybe, just maybe, she was a little jealous of Madeline. Or maybe she she liked her, like wanted to get on that. I mean, can you blame her? Alright, so we have two options. Hmm. You're pretty too. Mm. Don't worry, I won't do anything. Hmm. The problem is, she's not going to trust anything. <laughs> Both of yeah. these, she's going to be like, you're lying. <laughs> what is the yeah. most dangerous thing for her to think is the lie? I won't do. I think the second one. By this weird reverse logic, I feel like the you're pretty too is the better thing to say. Mm. Possibly. But I don't know. You're the traveler. Hmm. You know what? No, actually, I think she's a kind of a, a bit of a vulnerable moment, and she'll believe us. I think the traveler believes e both of these things, and she might believe us too. So I'm going to go with the don't worry. Okay. Okay. Don't worry, I won't do anything. Yeah, well, you try and I'll kick you. Well, that solves that. What? I don't think nuns are supposed to kick people. Don't tell me. But what I heard to do. some monks do. I don't care what nuns are supposed to do. <laughs> the traveler frowned again, though Daffodil couldn't see it. In fact, I couldn't see it, and I'm the narrator. It was easier to talk to people, the traveler mused, when one could see your face. Really? But in this instance, that would probably make things more awkward. Because they were a rabbit. I'm a rabbit! <laughs> <laughs> Daffodil claimed not to trust the Traveler, but the Traveler was certain she would trust them even less if she knew what they really looked like. Turns out she looks just like Daffodil. <gasps> <gasps> If you do not care, why did you become a nun to begin with? We hardly knew each other. Why should I tell you something personal like that? True, I, I apologize if I got ahead of myself. I was the one who was asking the questions. What about you? How did you end up in this church? I was following a goblin. Uh, anyway, it's not a very exciting story. I'm a traveling merchant, you see. Traveling? The overarching lyric, lyric chorus is like, 
I'll, ex I'll excuse you. This is a very exciting story. It's my story that I'm making up currently. <laughs> <laughs> I did think your accent was strange. W where are you from? Praline! Not really? frosting! Hmm. Oh, I see. Not too far away. It's, uh, over the ocean. It's filled with puns. <laughs> I see what you did there. At least you don't come from Battenberg. I heard those lands are populated with cannibals. Fuck everything. Even the queen herself. <laughs> 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 and the vor returns. <laughs> vor, vor, vor. It follows her everywhere. You Poor follow Coco me everywhere, and, and so it before. does. You're the <laughs> one who you're the one who invited me to this game. I bet you played it all, and you, you know, saw that, and you gave me Daffodil just for these lines. <laughs> the association with Vor happened before true. I met you. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, the Vor episode only went uh, up after I met you. It did. Yep. I mean... The silence! Ooh. <laughs> He's so shocked. To un Damn, I guess it, I'm I guess to unlock it... the tragic backstory of the Vor. <laughs> <laughs> the tragic backstory of the Vor. It came up in, like, our first Let's Plays, though, so... Uh, I guess that's why I thought it was, but... Uh, <laughs> 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 but, Daffodil was getting rather too excited by the prospect of cannibalistic aristocracy. And coughed, shaking her head. She was into Vor. This is predictable, because she was one <laughs> of Coco's characters. That you gave Damn. me. <laughs> <laughs> It was all a trap just and I fell for it. Proper. It was a filthy desire. Oh god. <laughs> Madeline would have been disappointed. She would have kink shamed that shit so hard. Praline is foreign, but it's not too foreign. It's the it's the right amount of foreign, you know, enough to be interesting, but not wrong. Dequois and pours you know. a lot of fabrics from Pralin. Fruits and vegetables, too. <laughs> it's England foreign, Canada foreign, not Mexico foreign. Jesus. I. I. For the record, uh, Ava Guacamole does not condone the. Th <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You try and sell that. Mm -hmm. Hey, but let's be real. This After is what joke? Republicans think of when they decide who who is quote-unquote illegal and who's quote-unquote an immigrant, you know? I mean, you're not wrong. You seem to be rather nauseous. No, no, no. You know this shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> my father was I'm a just merchant. My words. I picked up a couple of things. I mean... There's a lot of picking up that has to be done for merchanting. Are you my father? But Daffodil's expression shut down upon the mention of her father. He an asshole. Or dead. Maybe talking about him was painful. I'm the Probably. narrator, I should know this. So, did you come here to sell your wares? That's right! I was traveling to Castella. Ah, for the elven market. I see. Is that why you got a ride with the goblin? Yes, he said, um, you would help me for a small sum of money. I was too tired from my journey to be discerning. The traveler gritted their teeth together. Grind, 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 grind. But he tricked me! What a dick! So Daffodil rude. looked largely unsympathetic. <laughs> of course he tricked you, idiot. Baka, baka, baka. Nani deska? <laughs> <laughs> you were going to the elven market. That's 
one of the most popular markets that caters to elves, goblins, and dwarves for miles upon miles around. He was probably going to the elven market too and didn't want to help a potential competitor. The, most, the more sellers there are, the more the potential profits are divided. That's common sense. But he said he was going to Charlotte. Charlotte? Then he was obviously lying. Do I need to spell it out for you? Yes. I mean, uh, no, L maybe. I A R. There, that's one. <laughs> Chow, continue. I, my brain didn't catch all the letters. I'm like, wait, what did you spell out? <laughs> <laughs> I Long heard M A I R, and I'm like, that's not a word. <laughs> no. It was L. It was L A I R. Uh, oh, did I? Okay. Whoops. Okay. No, you got it. You got it right. You just got misheard. Okay. It all sounded so simple when Daffodil said it like that. But, at the time, the Traveler had not even considered the possibility. He was a bit of a dope. They really must have been tired. They were usually shrewder than that. That's they were a the shrewdest. They were a shrew. <gasps> it's not a bunny! It's not a bunny, they're a shrew! Maybe it... Maybe it was the boat journey. Being rocked back and forth on the waves tired them, particularly under the, all the bright, blinding sunlight. Sunlight wasn't very good for the traveler's eyes. <laughs> Maybe I was wrong to be so suspicious. Somebody this naive can't be a bad person. Oh uh, no, I assure you, there's plenty of naive assholes. Yeah, I was gonna say that too. Yeah! <laughs> I, I am not naive! I was tired, that's all! <laughs> sure, sure. Bitch, you wanna throw down? Do you really <laughs> want to try this? Daffodil! <laughs> not, actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> Daffodil waved one hand dismissively. I've lived a rather sheltered life, and even I can see through that much. But you also hate everyone. You... Fair. Mm -hmm. You might want to get your <laughs> eyes checked. You, you, you do have eyes, right? Two, two or more of them? One, maybe? Oh, if only she knew... About the traveler's eyes, I could go on about the, the the traveler's eyes. They jutted out like metaphors. Wow, <laughs> like metaphors, huh? Uh, <laughs> the problem is, like, I could have gone with something, but I'm like, there's literally no particular thing that is <laughs> being. Said about the eyes, so. Okay, but now you're just describing the eyes as being like, you know, those weird, like, slug eyes, so they're like on stalks. Because <laughs> they're jutting out. Yeah. And they're like, yeah. jerking back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that could still be. Ways. <laughs> the irony at that moment was rather too delicious. They don't have eyes. Like, like rain on your wedding day. Say, I'm curious, what kind of wares do you sell? Humans! Ha <laughs> ha! The traveler pondered and made a joke in his head about selling slaves. So <laughs> the wares they dealt with were of a rather intimate nature, and they did not imagine Daffodil, having led a sheltered life, would appreciate it. Or maybe she would appreciate it more because of that. <laughs> the Traveler was definitely selling, uh, uh, prophylactics. Okay. <laughs> it certainly would not endear the girl to them. Unless it did. 
Daffodil, however, was rather sharp and had a discerning eye when it came to untruths. Unless they made them feel better. Make up a lie? Tell her the truth. Oh, absolutely tell her the truth. I want to know. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, well, it's, um, kind of embarrassing, but... Uh, what? I sell certain enhancing items. Mostly oh to dwarves God. and goblins. Uh, oh huh. my god. Enhancing uh, uh, for their physical uh, strength or stamina? I suppose, in a sense, <laughs> but it's physical strength and stamina for a very specific, particular purpose. Oh, and what is that? It's fucking! The traveler's name is Viagra! Why specifically <laughs> goblins and dwarves, though? Dwarves seem like they would have a lot of stamina. Uh... They usually have a high constitution I... modifier. Yeah! <laughs> usually the downfall of dwarves is they have that, that... They traditionally have a negative to charisma. Of course, all dwarves have that, so it's a little bit like... Well, I mean, but you if, you, if you... If you got a big dick and you can tout that, you know, that you, you're you skilled in the art of fucking, then... <laughs> then that makes up with the charisma, right? Well, no. maybe they can physically go at it for a while, it's just the... blood flow. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know... Ahem... <laughs> <laughs> They'd never been all that embarrassed about their line of business before. It paid good money, and money was everything. But talking about it with a nun, of all people, seemed a bit... sacrilegious. Which is even more embarrassing than telling their mother had been. <coughs> it was okay, Mom bought three. <laughs> It's, um, to enhance the strength and stamina in the, um... Bedroom. Boudoir. Chamber. <laughs> nope, instead. <laughs> Act of making love? Oh. Deadpan. <laughs> uh, Dead. Daffodil looked at the Traveler. The Traveler looked at Daffodil. The narrator saw them both. <laughs> then, with a sudden squeak... The Let's Play ended. Ew! That's gross. Daffodil shuffled backwards on the pew, her eyes wide with alarm. Her face was pale, but her cheeks were bright red, so that part wasn't that pale. I need to get going. <laughs> That's why I was trying to oh. end it earlier. <laughs> oh. Shit. That's why I'm just like, and with a sudden squeak, the let's play ended. <laughs> oh. Shit, I may even use that. But anyway, uh, <laughs> that's all, folks. See ya! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Farewell! <laughs> wonk, wonk! Wink, wonk! I need to get going. Did I miss Coco?